So as you all know, probably, we went to PAX West a few weeks ago and now all of our videos are out. So if you want to know the winners of all of our PAX giveaways, because we gave away stuff in each of those videos, make sure you tune into this Friday's Netlink because we'll be announcing the winners then. Uh, to celebrate, we released a bonus video on our second channel, NCX TV, showing Barrett getting into some crazy hijinks on the show floor. Maybe that, maybe open that in a new tab and then come back here because we've got to do some tech news, guys. Videocards.com, usually a pretty solid source for these kind of leaks, have gotten their hands on some information about AMD's upcoming high-end Vega GPUs. Vega 10 will be based on the 14 nanometer process with 64 compute units and 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. Vega 20, on the other hand, will use the 7 nanometer process, also with 64 compute units, but with 32 gigabytes of HBM2 for a memory bandwidth of one terabyte per second. Sweet Petunia Grace. Video card source says Vega is supposed to arrive in the first quarter of 2017, while its successor, Navi, or Navi, is apparently being pushed to 2019. Now, as always, sprinkle some salt on this, maybe some pepper to taste, but not sugar, because 32 gigabytes of VRAM is sweet enough already. <laughs> But I guess we'll see soon enough whether this info has any merit. Apple today officially launched their newest desktop OS, Mac OS Sierra. It's the first official release of Mac OS. Yes, OS X is no more. The biggest change Sierra brings is Siri integration. She can be accessed via voice control to play music, call you an Uber, and even read your email to you. Any app that supports multiple windows now can also have tabs, and Apple Pay support means you can validate online purchases from your Mac using your iPhone's Touch ID fingerprint sensor. Apple Watch users can now automatically unlock their computers just by being close to them, and Photos' new facial recognition capabilities makes it more like Google Photos. Yes, I said it. All this stuff is pretty cool as well it should be if you've undergone the questionable practice of locking yourself into Apple's ecosystem. And images of Google's upcoming Pixel phones, which are meant to replace the Nexus line, have apparently leaked online. Someone spotted a potential contender, strangely, during a Nest ad played in the Netherlands. Eh, but that could have been any stand-in phone, right? However, Android police then got their hands on images that look remarkably like that phone, which also look like the leaks that we saw in previous months, complete with the fingerprint reader on the back. Google has sent out official invites, as well as a TV ad, for an event they're holding October 4th, so we'll see if we're vindicated once the truth comes to light. Guys, you know what time it is. Quick bits. Ah, see, you know why it's not working is because you got the got the disc in upside down. So if you flip that over, that should help. Send us a clip of yourself saying quick bits to get featured. I don't know what this is. This is great news. Of all the people to launch a new wireless service, you know who I would like? Comcast. They've just nailed this whole dependable company thing. Yeah, let's get them on it. The Opera browser's built-in VPN is now live for the public, so get out there and download it so you can come right back and hide. Hasselblad has shown off their V1D modular concept camera, taking a page from Project Aura, except Project Aura is dead now, so... It doesn't look like it bodes well for you, Hasselblad. What a name. SanDisk has unveiled what is apparently the world's first one terabyte SD card, but it's a prototype for now, so no word on when you can actually buy the thing. And Microsoft has released what could be its last Nokia phone. The Nokia 216 is a feature phone with some pretty cool features to boot, but I think we all know the true test of its worthiness will be whether it survives a nuclear blast. So we'll have to wait for that to happen, I guess. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked down there, in the description. Happy birthday, James. I hope it is a merry one, full of laughter and dancing. Unless you're not the dancing type, it's just not your scene. I totally get it. I also hate dancing. I'm with you. Psh, screw that. Now here's an intriguing freebie. Nvidia and Microsoft have teamed up to include a Gears of War 4 PC game code with the purchase of GeForce GTX 1080s, 1070s, and 1080 and 1070 powered notebooks. Plus, Gears of War 4 is a Xbox Play Anywhere title, so you can also get the game for Xbox if that is something that you care about. Click here for all the details. This guy's got a buzzsaw gun, and that's cool.
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. You can watch more videos by clicking here and check us out on Twitter. Our handles are right here. You can go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now I'm out of here. I don't know about you guys, but I got so many places to be right now. You would, you wouldn't understand. Oh man, are we? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I gotta get out of here. Hey, see you guys later. Next time.